come up for me, then it doesn't come up for you. Okay. Uh, goal is we need silk touch things. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I have a silk touch book, and I have a netherite pickaxe, and I don't have any levels of XP to put the book on the pickaxe. That's the current issue. Uh, uh I see. I had XP. <laughs> All gone. I know, I know. And we're gonna bring you back to reality. So where are you? At your house? The demon house? My house right now. Alright, take anything that you're gonna want specifically from your house that you know that I don't have. Because I basically have everything that I would need. So anything that's like Austin specific. And what then do you mean? I have to get all the sweet, I have to get all these carrots, I have to no, just off. just leave it all. Well, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, just like whatever you need, like your tools and stuff for your like loadout. Listen, Mister, I don't have time for that. <laughs> what are you talking about? Shit. Everything you have that a... out of my chest and disorganized. There's no organizing happening. Everything that I have, I have like at least ten, at least. Chests of just, I throw everything in my inventory of it, inside of it, and then, like, I'll come back to it and check it sometimes. At least ten. And they're double chests all filled. It's like, I'll get ready to build a farm, realize I don't have enough materials, and throw everything I was collecting into one chest for later, and forget about it. I just found I have, like, 20 stacks of glass, and I thought I had none, because it's in a separate chest just off to the side. So I have everything. Yeah, see, I don't. Dude, you're coming to my house right now. Dawson, uh, I need we're to setting you up. The adventure. Uh, you can either take the sprinting path, which is exactly six minutes straight of sprinting, or you can take the another thing, which is broken, but it will still take like three minutes. There's all my fireworks. <laughs> disappeared no we're in a realm so things will stay like if no one's in the realm it will save it and then floating items that were near you will stay there I found floating items from like very far away I shouldn't fly to you actually yeah you're right you'd very your house is too far to fly to dude I'm trying to find my fireworks so I can fly to you do you have an Elytra? Yes. I have like three of them. Um, is it gonna break on the way? I mean, it's like dark orange, it should make it... It's gonna cost like four fireworks to get to my house, that's what I was saying. Your house is like the distance where it's too many fireworks. Uh, I can get to my 1,000 block distant thing in two fireworks, so you're like 2,000 blocks away. Alright, well, I need to freaking pack up. I'll be over there. For example, I have a chest here with 53 leather in it, and 64 dripstone, and a bunch of rails, oh, multiple stacks of dripstone, and maps, and it's just sitting here. It's not connected to anything and it's the only chest in this room. <laughs> Why? Because after I had a whole adventure and I needed a new inventory, I was just like, you know, get off the get off me. It's like when you come in from a storm and your clothes are all wet or from the snow and you just like completely take off your skin <laughs> and leave it all at the door. That's also, we have, uh, I think, nine or twelve mm, anvils to repair things. Twelve. All lined up here, so if you need to repair things, there's anvils waiting. Because they break okay. over time, and I'm sick of it. More paper. Okay. So you can't fly here? No, I have exactly four freaking... I work. So like, I could do more. I see, like, oh my. All right. If you can sleep before you go, sleep. 
Are you still there? Yes. It's a beautiful sunset. One out of two. I don't know, it said that. Well, the sun was just up a second ago. Now it's up again. Alright, so... The issue is... Dude, I have another chest here that was filled with the materials I was gathering for the guardian farm <laughs> and then I can't make the guardian farm because I don't have ice so I had to stop look good uh, it's right here and then I left the rest in other chests okay uh you're on my way to you're on the way to my house from the nether I was just or you're flying away. yeah do you okay. see the diagonal lines on the ground that are leading you? You're just going to zero, zero, anyways. I just follow the lines, that's all I really do. Yeah, yeah. Ask me what fireworks. I can't have the board. That doesn't make sense. Uh, you died. That's what happened. Yep, my fireworks are in that chair. Forgot I had a horse here. I forgot how to use this, oh my god, I almost died. I just had a horse, and it just disappeared. Wait, oh my gosh, I almost died. There. How do I use this again? It's Dude, it's fireworks. Just Cause. Just Cause played... taught everyone how to glide. Dude, that I you have to go down and glide. Just Cause 2. But... Exactly. Which, what Just Cause do you think I'm talking about? Four. Just Cause 3 is classic, but not everyone had it. I haven't beaten it, so... Yo, I bought Just Cause 2 and Dark Souls 2 at the same time, and then after that... Oh, and Titanfall 2. And then I bought Witcher and stuff. So those were actually the first games I got. What's happening? Oh. Are you coming... in the sky? Um, yeah. I'm gonna see if I can me. I'm riding my horse. <laughs> I'm like uh the when the Starks <laughs> in episode one had to all come out for the king. <laughs> Good. Um where are you? I'm watching oh. the skies. <laughs> did you use up all your fireworks? I did. I should make it. Oh. Yes, but if you're running, it's gonna be six minutes of straight sprint. <laughs> uh, the nether is just three minutes. It's two, <laughs> but the rail's that. broken. That's mad funny. I was like legit on top of your head and you didn't see me. What? Dude, wow, I had no idea you were there at all. It was like, on top of my head? What do you mean? <laughs> Alright, follow me. Wait, do you want me to look at you or something? My horse almost just drowned. That was close. Uh, no, I'm just Yoda. I'm just trying to get my... Alright, stay still. We'll, we'll get a close-up of you. <laughs> You're Yoda from the old movies. The puppet Yoda. I just Yoda. changed it. Uh, I'm Steve Harrington from the popular show Stranger Things because it's Steve from Minecraft. Get it? Ah, that's that's the whole joke. <laughs> Where'd you? Oh, I guess you're not as fast as a horse, huh? How dare you? No, I'm Yoda. Ah, is there a fence that I can leave this horse on here? Oh wait, these are walls. Get me off! How do you get off? Uh, you can't tie a horse to walls. Come here, horse. Alright, I'm giving you the royal tour. Uh, you're gonna be rich at the end of this. Horse day. Follow me. Alright, so what are your issues? You don't have fireworks or something? Mm-hmm. 
Is your game lagging with all those animals? It is. <laughs> Mine's freaking silky smooth. There's... Show them all. Ooh, to me. AMI Electra is gonna break. Lovely. Well, uh, at least you're not using it right now. Are, are you crouching right now? No. <laughs> Dude, do you see yourself in third person? <laughs> yes, I'm really small. I don't. I, I don't think that's like a normal Minecraft skin. That just can't happen. See this? That's a bee. That's here because I randomly put this beehive here, and then I forgot about it, and it's not supposed to be here. It doesn't provide anything. It's just there. All right, follow me. You know about all this. Mm -hmm. uh, there's not two minecarts, and it's on the other side anyway, so we sprint. We could have gone above ground, but I always take this because it's faster. Okay. Uh, there's going to be... You're so funny looking. You're one block tall, and then your forehead. That's it. Like, you couldn't see over one block unless you, like, tipped it. I guess so. Uh, this is... Oh, wait, I guess we have to go outside. Uh, when... This is gonna be like an animal, like a cat that really wants to get out, or a dog that really wants to get out, and you're gonna have to not let it out, okay? Okay. So you have to close the door behind you really fast. I gotcha. Ah! Ta-da! And don't fall on fire. You're very short. You might just I go I right mean. underneath this. I can't get underneath, but you might. Ah, this is my honey farm. It started as just this room, tiny little room, and then they were annoying me, so I just built a hundred of my hives, and just sometimes I throw flowers at them. The, <clears throat> the need for this is this way. Hold on. Run. Ah, uh, and I added a door right here so that I can go in. All these shulker boxes on the roof are emptied, and I sorted everything that was in every one of those. Uh, just come here for like two seconds. I just have to show you so that you know. Uh, I can't make the dripstone farm without tons of honey blocks. Mm. So this, I guess we should have taken the stairs the last time. This is the honey farm. Well. Da, 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 da. So, uh, if you see here, if you put your face in that hole, there's those dispensers. Hives would go in that open slot, and then the bees would be stuck in here, surrounded by flowers, and just constantly drop honey into these little uh, thingies. And oh, then, that sounds... yeah, so we would have infinite honey just from the bees existing. Uh, and. And instead of that room down there where you'd have to collect it one by one and wait, it would just auto harvest it and you'd go to the chest over here and then get honey. But that's for honey blocks which are able to float or something. And that's how you make the like floating things that move on their own. I don't know. But we need honey. <laughs> so that's the honey farm. And we need bees for the honey farm. We need five full hives so they have to have three bees each and that's why i'm just i don't know how many bees are in each one so i'm getting the max and there's tons of dogs if you want a dog just let me know uh all right what do you have in your inventory drop your like tools right over here my tools yeah, yeah, come over here in this chest and throw your tools in it. No, not, yeah, yeah. That's all. Um, and throw your diamond armor in it. But Actually, you, you don't have to. Take this out of the chest. This thing. Netherite? I want my sword. Uh, and then take your netherite armor off, or nether, <laughs> you take your diamond armor off. And then come over here. <laughs> you have ears. Uh, you can take all this diamond stuff, like the sword too. And Wait, my sword? this is 
This is how simple netherite is. Is this smithing table, it's not the anvil, but the table. You throw in the diamond thing, and then you throw in, just place one single ingot, and then bam, it's netherite. It's like a pack-a-punch. Oh, okay. So you could leave... Did it, did it actually... It doesn't take any XP either, right? Yeah, it didn't work. Uh, you don't have all your diamond stuff either. I was trying to observe, but we actually have different smithing tables. We can use it at the same time. <laughs> Ta-da! See, the point of that is it doesn't take any enchanting in the to like repair stuff. It does. So, to like make a new item, it just costs one ingot, and then to cool. repair it, it takes XP. Throw that sword nice. in there, bro. Netherite sorted up. Also, I think you get an achievement for getting wearing all netherite armor. If you don't have a chest piece, I have a chest piece here. Uh, the, uh, psh, I have a million. I don't have boots. Right here, sir. <laughs> I thought Yoda was wearing boots this entire time. Ta da! Which one? There's like five of them. Uh, the one with the least oh. enchantment, and they all yeah. are the same. <laughs> and did you know, uh, some of the Minecraft music is copyrighted. Oh, dang, I actually should... I'm going to turn off the music. Maybe I turned it down a lot, and it will work. But I don't want it to mute us, you know? Mm-hmm. Alright, it's very low in the background. Who knows, maybe it will... Wait, you look so cool! Bro, you look like you're ready to fight a clone army. Your feet go through the floor, that's the trick. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh, uh, did you get an achievement? I do. So, basically, the difference is it lasts longer. I think it's stronger. By like, one point. Uh... But it lasts, like, way longer. Uh, maybe it's faster? I don't know. Alright, so every time you want to make a diamond thing, you throw a, a netherite ingot on it at a smithing table. Okay, uh, we should sleep. There's a bed down here. And I'll, I'll go to my bed. Wait, no, I'm looking at something, damn it. Maybe we shouldn't sleep. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, my netherite armor is pretty low. Also, I have a totem in my hand. That's just, I naturally was in a village and they were raiding it and tried to kill me. And I was like, you know what? I'm killing you. And then they gave me a totem, which is the thing where if I, are you an Ewok or are you too <laughs> Oh, cool. <laughs> I can't tell because everything is covered. I know you're a furry Star Wars creature. Oh, an Ewok. Um, yeah. Alright, so... Uh, did you put that on, like, your pickaxe and stuff? No, I didn't bring a pickaxe. Here you go, sir. Open this chest. Uh, don't... Oh. Actually, actually, some of them are, like, fortune. Yeah, a lot of them are fortune. Actually, all of them are. There's some diamonds that are too low. See, we don't, we can't repair anything. You see my issue here? <laughs> I have a, but I fixed the issue by making a brand new one. Guess what? What? You're welcome. Wow, what's this? Another right pickaxe. Oh my god. I literally had that in my inventory, and I'm just gonna use my half destroyed one right now. Uh, I'll have to make another one. Actually, guess what? I can just freaking make one right now. Do you have any more? Uh, no. things? No, no, netherite ingots? Oh, here you go. 
so that I can throw it on this pickaxe. Why I basically just one? made you a new one. Yo, give me, th give me the one I just gave you back, and I'll give you a brand new one. Ta-da! What did you do to yourself? You're, you're purple and blue. I have a golden apple. Oh, uh, I don't know what those do. Okay. Uh, so I have Silk Touch in my inventory. I need to put it on this pickaxe, but it costs four levels. And I have tried all of the tricks, and I can't get all of the, I can't get the levels. So, uh, we need to make an ice thing. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, you had a issue with the Litra? Well, I mean, it's going to die soon. After, uh, like, not organizing, but taking everything from the other chests and moving it all into this room, open this chest. Ta-da. Wow. Fireworks. Oh, my gosh. So take, like, three stacks. And then you can take a look at this chest, too. Wow. That, But that's all of them. Like, that's all we have. <laughs> so, like, these two chests, we can't use all of them. I only have 29 in my inventory right now because I don't want to use them all. Alright. Uh, and I have to I have to show you this just for yourself. Come with me. We have tons of food, but it doesn't matter if we have tons of food if we eat it all, right? Right. Uh, and we need a renewable source of food. We both have a leech for this. It's going to be very easy now. Yes, but mine's going to have to be destroyed soon. Yours is going to be destroyed soon. Hmm. Yeah, oh, I thought That's what you said. <laughs> uh, come it's like maybe I got like one minute in the air. Time. I need phantom membranes to fix this. We have to go back to your place. But with this, it's fast. Oh, I, do I have the rails? No, I don't have the rails. I had them last time. Grab a minecart. Those things hurt me for some reason. Oh, I did repair it. We're good. Smooth sailing. <laughs> Why'd that guy Ooh. punch me in the face? Stupid pig. Wow, this is pretty cool. It looks cool from the outside because it's like a big cobblestone tunnel. Uh, you can honestly send your cart back because there's none. Okay, we're at your house, right? Yeah. But come this way. <coughs> now, rem remember this goes like to the jungle and like we had this whole adventure going through here and it was like dangerous and we were dying getting lost uh like in the new biomes when they added the nether biomes remember i do remember i think we were looking for like castles oh 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 uh my family is outside i thought that there was strangers outside Okay, uh, so there's nowhere to go but that way, right? This way so. was the original way. That, oh, oops, that's gonna explode. Oh, the, this is the original way that went up to the jungle place. And I added this glass, and it's cool because you actually can't touch the fire. Push your face into it. Ta-da! Wow. Um, even though there's nothing blocking it. So if you went that way... It's that, but the reason this exists is because this is the closest nether wart forest to us. <laughs> uh, because we had already explored all the nether before they updated it, so then the closest biome that was new was very far away. That's why we shouldn't... I explored a ton of our world aimlessly. And... <laughs> 
that means a ton of our world is the old world and we have to go far away to get the new stuff. But that was Boring. easy to follow, right? Kind of. Now when you come out here, if you get lost, you see all that over there? What's that stuff? The Ow. ash? No, it's not ash. It's meticulous, my hand, every single one of these, I pressed a button. Oh, yeah, oh my god, wow. Uh, but... The location is not the point of why we're here. Uh, you open this chest, this is the overflow chest. I built this chest because this chest filled up. Open that chest. That's the, that's the one that filled up. You see how there it's already happened. Uh, um. You need to fill your inventory, <laughs> like as much as you can carry right now, because we're just bringing it up to the surface. <laughs> we basically just went on like a supply run. We gotta go collect the meat. Got all of it. It, this took a lot of time to get this much meat though. I mean, this is gonna take a lot of time to eat it too, so it doesn't really matter. But you were having food problems, so we have to do this. This is the... I guess this goes nowhere. <laughs> I actually put a slab on every single one of those steps to prevent them from spawning on them. And then... There's nowhere to go that way. You have to go up. And it's very obvious because of torches. Uh. Ta -da. uh you don't have a litra, but you can just fly with your litra straight over that gap and you'll land at the other end where the gas was in the glass. This is just cutting straight through the dirt. <laughs> to get to the coordinates of the... Oh, you're not supposed to be down here. He's gonna blow up our stairs. Go quick. Oh, God. Are they just not shooting? <laughs> Did you oh, fall? Will. The nether is cool, because you think... Like, I thought this was the ground level, and there's a whole layer under there. This is, like, where your portal was at. Except... Just far in this direction. Wow, Minecraft's cool. Uh, it's the back room's feeling. And everyone has a word for it now. Yeah. Uh, but that, f that feeling of the back rooms is what I was always talking about. How it feels like an unexplored thing, but it also was generated, you know? So it... It was generated by me being there, so it could be explored. Alright, uh, we got a minecart back. Like, No Man's Sky? Some, uh, most of it seems like endless planet, but the planets themselves, like the solar systems in the galactic map, it, you know how you're the only one that's ever even seen those solar systems? It feels like you're the only one in that area of the galaxy, you know? It does. The planets are just endless, but the galaxy is like five planets per system. And then I get to name it. I don't even know where we're gonna put this food. There's plenty of places to put this. We're making a the whole main goal. Hold on, did you get out of the portal yet? No. I'll show you how to get to my house. This way. And then you can just go straight down. I know. I never use it. There's also an upstairs route. This house is like four stories, actually. That's pretty cool. 
Oh wow, I love this place. But this storage place sucks. We gotta we gotta destroy this place. Yo, all of these if you breed the dogs, maybe they'll be your dog. They eat meat. I don't want any dog. Just try it. Dude dude, we have infinite dogs. Like literally I breed them every time I'm just like hanging out here. I want I wanna see if they're gonna be yours. Like will that will it follow you? Can you make it sit? No. Nope. <laughs> that thing was a baby two seconds ago. It wasn't born two seconds ago. Alright, well now we have a pet. Okay. Ah, uh, this way. I'm going to have to build more chests now. Yo, ready? These are the chests over here. That I just drop stuff in every time. It's like, I'll have to, first of all, where the whole, oh, you haven't seen this. This, this is mission headquarters over here. These are the anvils. Oh. You need to... You need to know this so that you can come here alone. This is everything. It started over here. And then I've built from there. We have tons of... We actually don't need an elite farm if we have mending on our things. I have mending, so all I need is XP to repair mine. And I can give you mending too, but we don't have XP for it. So, this torch represents we built a moss farm. Uh, and I don't know if I ever showed you it, but it's right there. Can you see it? Like that structure beyond the wall? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the moss farm. And it gives you like azelia too. Oh, this is another chest. The one that I was talking about. With all the dripstone in it. I was probably I about to make much. the dripstone farm. And then I didn't have enough. So, Hello, dog. Alright. Uh, so, I just made this. See the... Alright, all right. I'll explain it all to you. The maps, all sizes, is like a side project. It's on its own. That, that means, like, at the center of every size map, I want to put, like, a... A board there that shows it you know what I mean you wouldn't get lost there's gonna be a map everywhere you know mm -hmm. uh, okay so if you start over here this is what we want this is all we need <laughs> we put things in one chest and we don't have to organize anything and then when we want to build we just go in and then we grab it all this is three stories and it's not gonna work so if you come over here just a quick preview this is where it was started and i stopped i actually don't know where it is oh it's over here Ooh. so this would be the storage sorter and it would work like this so this would be the room over here and you would come up to the chest and this is an item, and this is an item. So this is the sorter in the back, and then you would be able to stack these chests infinitely. Mm -hmm. And what you can also do is put, you can fill the room with water so that you can swim up and down and open all the chests to the ceiling if you have a lot of chests to the ceiling. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you can stack the chests infinitely or put them into the floor. Uh, and the storage sorter, like the sorter part of it stays in the back. And it's just one layer wide. So each layer would be an item. And we put them on both sides. And that would be the storage sorter chamber. And there would be like this side chest to sort them like and bring it down the sorter. Basically it would go through this top thing. This is the sorter, so it only accepts a certain of an item, and then when that item passes, it will go into the chest. I think it might be very slow, 
but the guy that was talking about speeding it up was too complicated for me. Hmm. Uh, and you see this whole open area here uh, that like I've never used. I was thinking maybe I just build all of this the big storage room. So everything that we would build, like all of your materials, you would put in the storage sorter just so that we can have a total of everything. Like it would just sort it for us. Hopefully. Um, we also have tons of magma, if you want magma. There's tons of glass up here. And this is our Elytra. This is all we have of Elytra. And we hey. can't repair any of them. Because we don't have XP. That's why we need a farm. Yeah, I also need to take a bunch of these chests right now. Come down here. What are you parking at? Alright. Expanding. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, come on. Alright, now place all your meat. Because this is the food area. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so basically, this is already stored sorter. Without me even realizing it. But it's manual. There's no sorter. We just have to walk up to the layer, you know? But this is basically what it would look like, except each layer, and then there would be a sorter in the back, and they would only stack like this. So all of these would go all the way down. Um, yes. So that's a lot of stuff. Uh, come with me. Maybe, do you want to sleep first? No, nah, we're not scared of night. Come with me. We're scared! Ah! Uh. It's a child. My dog's being attacked. Are you with me? Yeah. Did you know that if you put a puppy in a boat, it stays a puppy forever? This is but a puppy for who knows how long. Um, it will never leave. <laughs> it needs to you notice this path here? What? Where is the skeleton? I don't know what you just said. Why the killer? It? Oh, I know where this is. Uh, yes, but it's been altered. It actually still spawns iron golems, even though it shouldn't. There's only one way in and out, and it's right here. It's if this doesn't open, then maybe you can get through it with or whatever. But uh, okay, so. Things have changed. Instead of being up top, the villagers are now in these things. And they're all linked. But this is the important thing. You see this lectern? This podium? What about it? That means it's a librarian guy. And over here, uh, I have two more. That means... Okay, never press this button. But it's there for a reason. <laughs> uh... That means they will sell enchanted books, and it's random. So we have to level them up so that we can see everything they offer, and then they will sell. It's just 50-50 for any book. So if you look at this guy, it's hard to hover over it. I'm going to have to figure it out. Oh. All right. Yeah, that guy sells nothing, but what does this guy sell? Mending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has mending. So, mending. Ooh, come over here. This is another place where I just threw everything in a chest. Look at this. So, you see three books of mending there? You should it take is. one. That will be your Elytra forever when you put that mending on it. Open this chest. Wow. You'll see there's a book of silk touch there. Mm -hmm. uh, and all that leather is from trading. And then this is a bunch of stuff from trading, too. 
Like they buy, they give me emeralds, and then I give the emeralds back to them for other stuff. Uh, and it always seemed complicated. It, the way I'm doing it is literally just one by one. <laughs> like, I just looked through them. This guy over here is silk touch, and this guy over here is mending. But it doesn't matter, cause there are the books are already there. We. <sighs> We just need the XP to put the books on everything, you know? Mm. Um, but if you need to trade, like, you can open every one of these guys, and they can all be leveled up to offer more stuff. And the reason why there's multiple guys with podiums is because every villager will offer different things. There's a chart showing like everything that they can offer so you could you would basically build a bunch of podium guys next to each other until you get everything possible on offer you know yeah there's also like you can turn them into a zombie by putting a zombie next to them and then you can like cure them and they'll sell it cheaper stupid stuff i don't know but we got what we wanted <sighs> very true I don't know, but if you ever need iron, this is the iron farm, and there was so much iron when this first started that I built a hundred iron blocks and placed them all here. <laughs> so this is all iron. <laughs> Alright. So, now you basically have everything that you need, but you don't have the XP that you need for it, right? I need the electra, I need the fly. You mean like that? Yeah. I'm about to be back at my place. Yeah. Wow, you're so slow. You're not even over here yet. Whoa, I didn't know you had yours. This is gonna break. Uh. Oh my god, with one and a half hearts left. Uh, to put the enchantment that I want on the thing that I want, it's going to be 33 levels. I think. Or like 16. So, I need a lot of XP. So we need a guardian farm. Because you'll get 30 levels in 30 seconds and that's the best way to do it. <laughs> so oh. we need a nice farm. So me and you. Ugh, the problem. Guess what? Whoa! I thought you threw this dog at me, dude. <laughs> it just oh. came flying. The problem is you can't pick up ice without silk touch. Hmm. So how do you Which, fix that? isn't a problem because I have a book of silk touch right here and I have a fresh pickaxe. The problem is I need four levels to put it on the pickaxe. What <laughs> level are you at? No. What? What level are you Zero. at? Zero. I'm at six. Are you four? But six. Are you four? Bruh. Okay. Here you go. Oh, that does not drop. How do you drop? to throw it away. Alright. You're gonna throw those into this anvil. And it should be four or six. Right? The pickaxe has to go first. Pickaxe. And book. Make sure it's the it's my pickaxe and not yours. Four. Dude, you just saved this. I have silk touch... A bunch of silk touch pickaxes... Uh, somewhere. But, uh, they were all gonna die. So, okay, now you come with me. Dude, you just changed everything. Uh. Psh, oh, oh, dang. Alright. Oh, okay, well, are you ready to get to work then? I don't have any food. I put all my food in that chest. Um, 
because now the next step is to make the ice farm based on this guy's uh, video. But to make this farm, I need a railway system so I can give you all the rails and you can make the railway system while I gather materials. Uh, but I'd first have to show you where to build it to. Is that something you're willing to do, or would you get off it because you're too tired to build rails? Uh, I feel like if you gave me the task, I oh shit, I'm on fire! Oh yeah, God. that happens all the time. That's why I was on fire. Early. Well, I have. I should have lots of rails. Yeah, I'd... sporadically, randomly, I have rails. I don't I want ah, to do rails. It, but I feel like I just get too tired. Um I don't oh. know uh I'm making you Yo, you should just check out every single one of these chests here, by the way. I made a bunch of redstone torches. Alright, well even even if you're not gonna do it. Let me show you. Mm hmm Uh. Because this is the next step. Because this uh, guardian farm, which is the one-eyed sea monster, which I don't even know about. I might even have to, like, play the game normally. Like, go in and fight a guardian just for the experience before I farm 200 a second, you know? <laughs> I don't know, I don't mm. feel like I'll... It's like... Yo, these bees are huge. I know, I know. That means they're adult and ready to make more. Also, like... Do you ever... Come here and then look and think, wow, like, what a freaking long time ago all this was? Very long time ago. Like, this is where we are, and this is, like, still how it is. Oh, oh. But this, this is canon, like this corner. So this is like a giant ice area that's on the other side. Uh, where we're going right now, this is cool though, this is here, is any smaller one? Yeah, where we're going right now is right here. Uh, and we're going across the bridge and up the mountain to the first snow area. Oh, 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 dang it, you stay right there. Get away, dogs. Okay. Wow, Elytra is the coolest thing ever. I feel like Superman. I just lift it off. Alright, uh, what I'm doing is getting buckets of water. Why well, a dog just disappeared? I don't know. Um, two buckets? I should have just, Forget like, it. like, teleported to you. Alright, run to your house. I'm above your head. Yeah, my face. Hello. We. we uh, I know. I never repaired this. Oh, it's just don't look at it. When's the last time you were here? I don't know. Wow, look at all this stuff. This is your stuff. And, yeah. yo, do you know how many times I've come in here and, like, I needed one specific item and you never had it? Like, I w ran out of wood and I would come in here and you'd have, like, five logs. And I'd be like, how is he surviving? <laughs> I get more. And this, this is, like, a whole nice area. When was the last time you were in here? Never. <laughs> it's, like, caution taped off and there's n no entrance. And this, I was going to make this, this is like a nice natural area. This was a tree, like this is an actual tree. I just, I was going to leave it. Look at all this, this is nice. And I was going to make it into stuff. I still am. But at some point. In, yeah, in the way future. Hold on, I'm dying of hunger in the game. <laughs> Cook boy, help. I need two buckets of water. One, two. Did I just throw this bucket? No. 
Also, there should be a sea turtle over here. Trapped. <laughs> is it still here? Wow, this is That's... weird. That's, That's crazy. crazy. I trapped the sea turtle when we first made this bridge, dude. And I was like putting torches everywhere. Good. And he's Good. still Good. there. Alright. This way. This is a disgrace to humanity. Do you know what this is? I started watching the Etho Let's Play from when Minecraft first came out. And he was like, this is the fastest way of travel. You would put a boat in there, and then the water stream would, like, blast you into the next stream. Guess what? I made what? all this, this whole bridge, everything set up, like, the walls are set up like this for this reason. And it turns out this was made before minecarts were added into the game. So this oh, was dude. the fastest mode of transportation in Minecraft in 2011. <laughs> And then I realized that I was using the most outdated system possible. Like, this was the first build of Minecraft. And he was, like, building tunnels through things filled with water. And then one of his later videos was like, oh, they added these rails. <laughs> well, Look at these, these ladders were meant to separate all the stuff. That goes for a thousand blocks for that achievement. And up here is all... <sighs> the minecarts are both right there. <laughs> and I haven't seen those in a long time. Do you remember all this? Like, I put mad work into this. I do. It's not even... All shaved. Uh... Wow. But the rail system, yo, whoa, we can do it here. The test right now is we're bringing water up, and we're going to see if it freezes. <laughs> and if it freezes, then we can build the ice farm here. Which will be cool, because, dude, haven't you, like, I don't know, clearly not making plans, but I've thought about what we're gonna do with this part of the island the island this part of minecraft since we started the game like i spawned on that island we made this bridge across and i was like what type of castle thing am i gonna make across on this like rocky mountain area now it's coming together i'm still gonna make a giant castle in one of the other places. Okay, uh... Initiating test. I don't want to actually build it this high. I want to build it any. Oh, that's how you get snowballs. I just was snow shoveling. Alright, water placed. Not frozen. But it takes a second. Maybe more than one second. Wow, this is cool because it has to be in the snow area. And it's forcing me to expand. Just like like that iron farm to the north, that's only there because that's the closest village. And I had to put it there. I wonder if it doesn't work if it's two by two. It probably doesn't work if it's flowing either. Damn it. Just do it. Well, I don't know how long it takes water to freeze, but... Like an hour or so? No, in Minecraft. Oh, I don't know. 
Well, I can't build the ice farm here if ice doesn't form. But uh, I'm gonna get more water. I have a Litra, I can fly. Oh wow, my face. <laughs> I fully just skid my chin off the ground. Wow, the moon in real life. I thought there was like reflection off my window and it's the moon. That's crazy. It's like perfectly angled at my window. Um, what are you doing? Just following you at the moment. I don't even know what you're... Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I'm expanding the... Ow. I'm expanding the 2x2... Two two dirt. Uh, or no, not dirt. Water field. Because... It doesn't seem... To... Freeze. Maybe it freezes better at night. Maybe it's too low altitude. <laughs> How's you? Wow. Wow. I was trying to swing by. Hmm. Yo. Yo. Have you followed the path? Alright, all right. while we test this out, I keep putting my food away and I need to take it back out. Uh, follow this path with me. So, like, so, we already saw that part, but then over here, it wraps back around so you can already see it right there, but there's this whole, like, area. This is, like, this is buildable. I'm saying that you could just find a tutorial. The point of the tutorials is you can build it into the side of, like, the mountain. You don't have to build it on top of it. You can, like, make it look like it's into it. So, the reason I'm showing you this uh, is because... This has like this whole center area. This is already paved out and like ready like Zoo Tycoon for you. For you to like place a building. So oh. you don't even have to... This is naturally flat. This is... I didn't touch anything but the... The paths. So... Uh... And this path goes... You can see the lights over there. That's where I would build... If you want to build something really really big... The biggest tutorial I could find on YouTube... That's just a tutorial and not like a time lapse or something, like a full on tutorial. The biggest one I could find would fit over there. Uh, like on the other side of the path right there. I built this path to follow the coastline. Uh, and I don't know how far it goes. I think it goes all the way down until a river crossing. And that's it. So if you ever feel the need to build, now you know all this is here. Like, I just plan to expand, but I also want to build in new areas. But what we do... Alright, so the website ha is called the Biome Finder. That's why it's... Let's, I'm, I'm going to check if the ice froze. But the website's called the Biome Finder. So you can highlight biomes, but the trick is even on mobile... Uh, the biomes are organized in the order that they were added to the game. So the most recent ones, like the lush caves and stuff, are th at the very bottom of the l list. Uh, meaning that you just open the thing, none of the ice is freezing, and it's also not snowing. That's that's probably the main issue here. <laughs> they need uh -huh. to that snowing snow at the very top it needs to be up here got it uh -huh. get in my buckets um so the biome finder it, okay so basically Austin, if you take the biomes and just treat it as a place this game is pretty cool because you have infinite amount 
of any place you want. So, like, if you think this place looks cool, but I already built in it, you just highlight only this place, and you have a list of all the closest ones to you. And you can just pick any one, and then even if you build in a hundred of them, there will be a thousand more, you know? Mm -hmm. That's the coolest part about it, is that you can say, all right, I want to build a jungle house, and then the closest jungle is the closest jungle. And then the second closest is the second closest. Like, uh... Yeah. I made a staircase. Well, a ladder, I should say. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna get... I've been having a carve out every single time, because I don't see the path. I right, I'm building my little thingy. Hmm. Is it not snowing there? It looks like snow. But it's also rain. I feel like you should be at the very top. Alright, I'm just gonna use blocks. Uh. <laughs> Will it freeze? Um, uh, right. <laughs> I don't think it will. Uh, so the second choice, that path goes until, I don't know if you remember, there's that whole ice area on the top of the mountain. Oh, on the other side. Yeah, if we keep following the path. So, uh, I showed you all this because I need a rail system, because if I'm going to be going back and forth and I don't have any XP, I can't mend my Elytra, meaning I can only go like with two trips with the Elytra, meaning as soon as I use those two trips with the, the Elytra, they're, it's all done, and I have no XP until I make this Guardian farm. So I have to save the Elytra. Uh, I mean, I can always, like, kill some animals. That's The mending is good, because you can just kill some things. But it doesn't need a lot of XP versus you need a lot of XP. It froze. The water froze. Confirmed. That's crazy. Alright. Uh, so that means the top of this mountain will be an ice farm. <laughs> Instead of a cool castle or something. You know what you is know. actually sick? I can always just build the castle around this. Like, make it on the inside. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool. I like, uh... You have to blend the ground into everything, or else it doesn't... You know, that granite house, it looks so specific, because I made the outline first, and then I just decided where the floor level would be. So I'd made an outline on this crazy hill, and the outline was not a square. And then I built up all the walls first, and then built the floors after that. That's why it looks so weird, and it, it's specific to the ground there, is because it's literally built off the ground. Hmm. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. <laughs> so this is freezing. Can't you add more water up here to make it freeze more? Or... Yes, yes. Well, the I'm going to have to build an entire... What the farm will look like is this. These four blocks, right? Except imagine a giant block area, and it's all filled with ice, and it all goes up into the sky as a giant cube of ice. It's going to make ice in a straight line across all the water. 
and then piston the ice into the middle and then piston it up and then it's gonna push all those stacks and columns into a square and it's gonna be a giant it's cube of ice and trust me I've done all the research there's no other way to get ice you can auto destroy the ice but it goes way slower than if you just take your silk touch pickaxe and destroy the ice so technically I don't have to get a farm for ice but we do need a farm for everything because I'm gonna need ice for the next tutorial you know what I mean Mm -hmm. If we just make an ice farm, then we never ever have to worry about it. And the ice farm will probably take the same amount of time as getting the ice in the first place. Because, you know what the issue is? I'm gonna blow your mind. What is it? If this fourth water block turned into ice, and I harvested all this ice, it took all this time, right? Mm -hmm. That would equal one packed ice. And I need, like, multiple stacks of 64 packed ice. So packed ice is four ice. And then blue ice is four packed ice. Uh, so we need tons of ice. Make sure you oh, don't sweet. destroy the ground. Whatever you do. Like, uh, this three dirt thing is sacred this can't be ever touched because this is the actual peak of the mountain that's been here since we started minecraft you can build around it though as long as the dirt stays where's your flag we need to mount it right here yeah i'm thinking that i'm just gonna build the farm like at this i might have to build it up higher I have to build it over here actually. It has to stay in the snow field for it to freeze. So if it passes outside this like mini ice biome. The cool thing about the map is it was pixelated, but since they updated the biomes, the biomes don't work in blocks. They work in like diagonals and stuff. <laughs> Uh, but when it was pixelated, you could have made, like, each chunk its own biome, like, block by block. Is this, like, a pit of despair? What happens when I fall into this, dude? <laughs> well, I assume you were going to add more water to make more No, ice. it's going to, it's going to be, uh, like, 30 by 30 block thing. And there's going to be tons of redstone underneath it because the entire floor is made of pistons. And that's why the cube rises up into the air or else it would stay on the ground and be one layer tall. But we need lots of ice, so we push it up to make room for more. Whoa, whoa, did you build all this? I didn't even see this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're like, I built a thing, and I was like, it took you that much time. <laughs> But I thought you only carved stairs. No. I see, I see. Made a whole You're making uh your Ewok home. Yeah. I don't even know where I am. Oh wait. No, we're at the bottom. I've never even There's like a cave entrance over here. Did you put these torches here? I didn't put no. any torches. You didn't. Wow, this is a cool thing. It's an actual mountain. Oh, there's the cave. Well, I'll always remember this. We have to keep this world forever. Uh, cause this boundary... Like, I spent so much time here. It's just hasn't served any purpose since. I was like, this is one my day. world. Actually, it was for when the biomes were made in pixels, and I was gonna explore each biome bit by bit. And use every item I find, but now they changed the whole map, so... I still can't get back up. <laughs> 
Damn it. Raw. Can't do that here. Damn it. Climb up. I was trying to fly with Elytra from the water, and you can't fly unless you, like, take a jump and lean. Are you still at the mountain? It looks cool. Yeah. I, I can't believe this. I jumped back in the water without flying. Yeah. I'm on my way. It's such a... It's like a solo tiny hill. And it's like the only mountain in this mountain biome unless you go farther down. It's one of a kind. Well, it's like our mountain of the... If there was actual render distance, you can see the mountain from the island the whole time. I'm gonna not let this be a death trap. I'll die in there. So the next step would be building the entire ice farm bit by bit with all the redstone and the pistons. And then you have to wait tons of time for all the ice to spawn in and move. And then you harvest all of it with this new silk touch pickaxe. I see. Without your XP. I was gonna have to look up, like, how to get XP in Minecraft. Like, I was breeding the bees and the dogs, and I was trading, and I was collecting things from furnaces, like, tons of blocks from furnaces, and it didn't give me anything. So, I need, yo, what this guardian farm is. There's a guardian farm on the surface of the water where you can just put the fish into like kill chambers right mm -hmm. but what we're gonna make sends all of the fish into the nether and they all die in lava at or not in lava but they all die by a splash potion at once and so basically you've spawned in the maximum amount of that uh like mob and then you put them all through a nether portal and they all fall into a pit. I don't know why it goes to the nether. I don't I don't know the reason for that. I think it's because it takes many spawn points and puts them all into one hole and then you just blast them and they all die at once and you get 30 levels in one second. He it's 30 levels in 30 seconds because you have to hit the button to send them through. Yeah, you're That's making horrible. this, uh, when you say staircase, there's really no way up now. You just made it too high. What you talking about? Oh no, that, that was my block. I thought it was yours. Well, there goes everything. <laughs> oh. All the snow got wiped away. Wow, there's so much water. No. <laughs> My oh. torch is down there. Oh, it was the water. Monsters are gonna spawn. We need we need to be able to walk right here. Little uh, to my original water source, which is my new water source. I made stairs. I'm gonna go down my stairs. Uh if the stairs aren't right here, then they're not doing their job. Stairs are right over here, sir. Ah, I see. Whoa. Yeah. You you meant stairs. <laughs> and there's a ladder. Um. So. I need to build 
a rail system up to here in that way I can or I just bring it Ugh. no I'm gonna have to build a, a rail system or I fly using my freaking whole elytra I'm already at my I'm above my granite house, and I'm at my storage. That's how fast the adventure is. It's OP. I don't have one. Oh, I technically do. But... I know, I don't have... I technically have a hundred Fortune 3 pickaxes, but they're all about to break, so I can't use any. Like, I had Silk Touch pickaxes before you enchanted that one for me, but mine are gonna break if I use them. And I need to get tons of ice, remember? That's the problem, is how much ice I need is too much for the Silk Touch pickaxe. It would destroy itself, so I needed a fresh one. And to repair my other one was like 33 levels. Impossible. No, that's possible. Uh, I think this is all to get like pods all or something. For uh, building Pokemon. <laughs> pods all is like dirt with uh, leaves and stuff on it. So it only spawns next to like tall trees and taiga biomes and stuff. Uh, and... The you need silk touch to pick it up, or else it turns into dirt. Uh. I have a silk touch shovel that's gonna destroy itself, um, and I don't have any levels to enchant a silk touch shovel, so I need XP to enchant enchant another shovel. And you know what? I don't want XP to be a problem anymore. So we need infinite XP from the Guardians. I just, I didn't even look it up. He has the playlist, the silent guy, uh, has the playlist of his working farms that mm -hmm. he said he updates. So I just scrolled down on it until I saw XP in the thumbnail. And the first one was the best possible XP farm in Minecraft, 30 levels in 30 seconds. And I watched him do it, it's not like a glitch. He said that it might not work on a realm unless it's a two player and we're never he said that if two people are online you can do it twice that you can stand on the surface and i can stand in the nether and we can send in the original batch and since you're still there on the surface a second batch will spawn in and then i can do it a second time so uh we're basically made of XP now. Dude, 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 dude. Just think about it. Like, now, we haven't even messed with the ocean. Versus when this farm is done, I just need a ton of packed ice, and then I'm pretty sure I have everything for the farm. And then when this farm is done, we have the big boss of the ocean monuments, 200 of them at once, in a giant blob like it's just all you see is fins flailing out because they're all stuck in one spot and then murdered all at once 30x 30 levels never have to worry about it again they can't patch that because they can't make the enemy have no xp you know that's true i mean maybe they just make it you can only get xp from one at a time but <laughs> no way they patched the, the only reason we're doing this is because they patched the furnaces. They don't give like any XP now. Uh, some things, smelting some items like iron gives you more XP than items like wood. But uh, they basically took all the kelp XP off. And that's what we that's were That's annoying. And maybe they didn't. I already tried to like reset the farm, uh, and it 
it didn't do anything, so maybe it's just me. We'll never know. But there's this whole... Wow, we have an entire reef next to our house. Like, actual underwater colony. Like, there's tunnels made out of coral here. That's why I wanted to explore, like, bit by bit, so that I could get every piece of coral and learn how to farm it. <laughs> My dogs are underwater! What are they doing? <laughs> Austin, they just teleported to me at the bottom of the ocean. They missed you. I gotta go to shore, they're gonna die. <laughs> It's like the too loyal dog that will just follow you into the street or something. It's an oncoming, don't worry. Gets hit. Uh. Um, um. They were, they were slowly going to the surface without moving, just staring to me, at me. Not trying to swim because they can't go any faster to the surface, they're just drowning. But our island looks beautiful, and the point of that bee farm, there's like the bee breeding place, which is just like built in, but there's that honey farm right there. I built it there because I'm going to use every piece of this island. Oh, come with me. I might have shown you this. Did I show you this? Like, not from a distance? Eternals. Yeah, I was gonna make a place for every animal. Ta da! So if you oh. come down here, you can see how everything works. It's all. I opened it all up so I can see all the things. This is the main contraption right here. See this block of grass stuff? That's a moss block. And if mm -hmm. you throw. Ready, ready, ready. Mm. Open that block right there. Open this thing. Sorry. Oh, those dogs. You're going to have to kill those dogs or they're going to kill you. <laughs> That's very sad. Because <laughs> you were them. Why well, do I have a feeling all your dogs are coming at me right now? Because I hurt you. Uh, if you open on this side, not those ones, but on this side... Mm, the bone meal. Yeah, yeah, but then open this hopper. And then open that hop. Oh, wait, no. I thought there was way more bone meal. But this is where all the bones went to. Uh, and if you... I'll actually show you. Uh, come over here. This moss block, if you put bone meal into it, it will grow stuff very far away from it. Not just right next to it. So if you come up here... This was one block wide, but the dogs followed me up and fell off and hurt themselves every single time. So if you switch, flip the switch, actually uh, down here, these switches, oh, you, you gotta unswitch that. Ah, what I was saying is these switches activate the my carts that are moving. Uh, ready to run right here. This is the whole system in there. What's happening to you? It's zombies over here. Dude, I hate the underwater ones. Yeah. No matter how many torches you put, we have to, like, clear the underwater. Alright, well, you already had it spoiled for you, but this is putting... Just just watch everything. It's taking stone. This is a stone generator. It's making stone and pushing it on both sides and on top and the bottom. That's making the grass in the middle, but look to the side. It's also making stone. No, your head's not moving. Dude. I can't tell if you're in third person. <laughs> See, it's... But that's also on the bottom, too. And then it's also happening on this side. 
on. So there's four stone generators working all at once. That's pretty cool. Wow, the sunrise. Alright, and then if we go back to over here, you see the uh, fruits of our labor all down here. So uh, these yeah. these flowering azalea uh, are from right now. So yeah, it gets tons of stuff. These things. That's how I needed these for the bee farm. So I had this whole thing was to get these because you can't get these without going into a cave. These are from the new caves. So in order to get this, I had to create this entire contraption, farm all of these things just to get a couple of those. Like, it, it puts out the least of these uh, than anything. That's why cool. these are filled with moss. So um, this is an example of a whole farm built for one item. And then we're going to build an entire farm for ice. <laughs> and then we'll have infinite ice. Just like if you ever need moss, you have infinite moss now. <laughs> That's if I want moss. Dude, dude, another point of these farms, once we have the item sorter and it's all finished, then I can just stand at these farms for a while and get tons of materials and just pack our item sorter so that anything we want to build we have near infinite stuff you know there's dirt generators you yeah. can force a oh, psh, all right, cool. I didn't know that you can make pods all so I'm gonna have to figure out how to make pods all Cause you can force... a lot of things you can do in Minecraft, but I'm just like so behind on all of it. Well, we'll have infinite wood, and that'll be one of the coolest farms, is the pistons, the sticky pistons, are as tall as the trees, and they grab them and pull them sideways, like, as a tall object. <laughs> so they all stay together in a stack, and get like pulled sideways off the ground. And then another one grows in its place, and then they just keep pulling out until there's a giant stack of wood. Oh, alright. That's where... Yeah, 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 come down here. Do you need wood? Oh, oh, other things, too. Do you need coal? Do you need anything? There's this auto farm, but I took out everything to put in coal. That's the super smelter, and I made it unsmelt because you won't get XP if you make it do it itself. Come down here. Every single one of these had a 64 stack of coal in it. So if you ever run out of coal, that entire room will never run out. Like, nice. you'll be able to forever furnace, and then come up here, and put one of these stacks in your inventory. Okay. Alright, then come to this crafting table, and then make it into coal until there's no more blocks left. See how much coal is in one stack of those blocks. Alright, let's see. You can put them all back after. No, I mean, unless you want to carry it all around. Uh, I'm just showing you we have all these resources. So, like I said, you are going to leave Minecraft with a different perspective. We have everything yeah, we need so except for the things we need. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you out of slots? That was close. This is the gold chest. And then underneath it is flint. Alright, and these are the rare resources on this side. What do you mean rare? Hold on. I'll 
just this whole stack, you'd take a look at every chest there. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and then, ah. <laughs> yep. That makes sense. Um. And I'm pretty sure all these shulker boxes are empty, but there might be random shulker boxes in the nether still that's filled with items. I don't know. From moving from place to place. And, uh, this one has all our dead body creature things. Did you open all of these chests here? I have. Uh, this one is the horse stuff. And the, like, mobility stuff. So, every saddle we have. You can't replicate saddles or make them. So, these are every horse we can possibly have. And if our horse dies with one of these, we are out of a saddle. Um, and the chest go right to left, so all the bread is in this one right here. And the golden apples in this bottom. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of stuff. You tell me. Oh, bunch. Yeah, those are the plants. These are the arrows. You, to make a dispenser, you need a bow. And every skeleton bow is here. You, you, you. You know where the skeleton spawner is, right? Yeah, I think. Um, that place has about 50 chests, and they're all filled with bows and arrows. You have infinite bows and arrows. Cool beat. Um, and we have a lot of bone, but we need more bones because I used a lot of them for those mm. plants and stuff. And I'm done with my now head. you know. This is, this is all the stuff that we have to go through. Oh, this pain. That's all it is. I, st I still don't have bees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you still logged into it? If you, mm -hmm. you should end Shit. up here. This is where I usually end because this is everything. Oh, oh, let me explain it. Uh, so we need a storage sorter. For the storage sorter, we need wood. <laughs> Because I need tons of wood for the storage sorter. Every single chest and every single piece of it is going to be wood. So, no, you have to back up with me. Um, so, for the wood farm, he built it with terracotta. I don't know why. But for a terracotta farm, we need tons of clay. For the clay farm, we need tons of dripstone. Uh, for the dripstone farm, we need honey. This villager enchantment trading... We already kind of have, but we need to perfect it. Self-building sky bridge, just like a side project. Um, and the moss farm has a torch because it's done. And then over here, the shulker farm. We can farm shulker boxes and have infinite... Like, this chest can be filled with shulker boxes, which are mini chests inside of it. You know what I mean? Uh, so we need infinite amount of those. A raid farm gives us infinite emeralds in this thing that's in my left hand. So we won't be able to die and we'll have infinite emeralds to trade versus having to mine them. Uh, no. A gold farm. A gold farm will have to use the pigs from the nether. We already have a mini one of these, but it doesn't do a lot. And we don't really need an elytra farm, but we could build one. But this is all for the storage sorter. And to build the maps everywhere. And, like, everything. We want all these things. Guardian XP farm is what I'm on right now. Ooh, I should actually... I take a sign from over here. And then I put it down. In order to build the Guardian XP farm, I need to build... Ice. Farm. <laughs> Oh, I'm like dying right now. Uh, yeah, now you see my pain because even if I spent the next three hours building this ice farm, and you'd have to wait for all the ice to uh, be created, then that would just be one material 
for the guardian farm. And then I Too throw much. it in the chest and get all the other materials and start another farm. But the guardian farm is going to be cool. Because it's all above the water. Getting the monster out of the water and into another portal. So it should be fun. Compared to just a random like redstone thing. This is going to be like moving mobs More around. Fun. Yeah, the original farms in Minecraft back, the guy told you that was playing uh, without minecarts, it was all water streams and each creature could be like, uh, the zombie could get past the sign but the spider couldn't or something. So all of the farms were based off of what mobs you can move. And you basically would put all the mobs in, and just using the water, you could separate the mobs into, like, only spiders or only zombies or something like that. And that's what we're going to do with this thing. We don't have to do that Oops. anymore, because they made spawners <laughs> and stuff. Nice. But now we need guardians. Sea creatures. So, let me know when it's time for more Minecraft. Alright. I'm being attacked by the water zombies right now. I hate them. Yeah. Good luck I hate those. them. I'm watching Tatooine Sunset. Ah. Uh, nice. Sand. Boo.